A Quiet Place Part E is a 2021 horror thriller film and sequel to the 2018 movie A Quiet Place. Both directed by John Krasinski, the movie opens with a flashback to day one of the alien invasion, when the Abbott family first encountered the creatures. We see Lee Abbott, a John Krasinski Allen, his family, a wife, Evelyn Lemily Blunt, a daughter, Regan or Millicent Simmons, a son, Marcus Anoy Jubau, a newborn baby in town when the creatures first attack. They witness firsthand the destructive power of the creatures and the importance of staying quiet in order to survive. The movie then jumps ahead to immediately after the events of the first A Quiet Place movie, which ended with Lee's sacrifice to save his family. The Abbots must leave their farm in search for a new home, knowing that they must remain absolutely silent to avoid being detected by the creatures. As they make their way through the countryside, they come across an old friend of the family, Emmett Asillian Murphyo has barricaded himself in a steel mill. Initially, Emmett is reluctant to help the Abbots, having lost his own family to the creatures, but he eventually agrees to show them how to get to a nearby island that is rumored to be a safe haven for survivors. The journey to the island is treacherous, and the family must cross a bridge that has been rigged with traps to deter the creatures. They also encounter abandoned cars that serve as a reminder of the chaos and destruction that the invasion has caused. When they finally reach the island, they are welcomed by Emmett's wife, who is pregnant, and his daughter. The island appears to be a sanctuary compared to the outside world, with a community of survivors who have been able to establish a sense of normalcy in the midst of the apocalypse. However, it soon becomes clear that the creatures have followed them to the island, and the group must work together to defend themselves from the relentless attacks. The family learns that Regan's cochlear implant can be used to defeat the creatures by broadcasting high-pitched feedback that causes them immense pain. However, in order to do this, they must first repair a radio station on the island that is capable of amplifying the feedback signal. Regan and Emmett set out on a quest to find the necessary equipment to fix the radio station while the rest of the family and the survivors on the island work to defend themselves from the creatures. Along as Regan and Emmett continue their journey, they must avoid the creatures and navigate through abandoned buildings in order to find the necessary equipment. They eventually locate the equipment they need, but they are attacked by a creature and must figure out how to kill it without making any noise. Meanwhile, the creatures continue their relentless attacks on the island, forcing the survivors to fight back with all the resources at their disposal. The family and the other survivors work together to set traps, constrict defenses, and find ways to avoid making any noise that could attract the creatures. Finally, Regan and Emmett reach the radio station and work to fix the equipment. They succeed in getting the radio working just in time, as the creatures are attacking the island in full force. Regan's cochlear and plant feedback is amplified and broadcast over the radio, causing the creatures to writhe in pain and even explode. The feedback signal travels over the airwaves, providing hope that other survivors might be able to use it to defend themselves from the creatures. The island is saved, 